Dad, I found something. Oh, what is it? Wait, a girl? You can't just bring her home like a cat. Whose child is that? She said her lucky charm broke. I'm gonna use the soldering iron. Answer my question, please. When I was playing in the neighborhood, I found a crying girl. She had dropped and broken something important to her. There are a lot of dangerous machines, so stay close to me. She nodded. I popped in the stained glass and soldered it in place. This is the factory my father runs. As his son, I came in here often. Wow! It's fixed! Like magic! You're gonna give it to your sick mom, right? I fixed it, so don't cry anymore. You don't have to pay me now. When you get a job... Hey, Ishin, you little... Promise! Thank you so much, Ishin. She smiled. Her name was Fran. When her parents separated, she moved into the area. After that, my dad and I took her back home. We reunited the next week in elementary school. I learned that she was a year older than me. We played with each other a lot. Two and a half years later, her mother was hospitalized, so she was going to live with her grandparents. Thank you for everything. I won't forget you. Yeah, me too. That's how my bittersweet first love story came to an end. Thirteen years later, Ishin Kageyama took over the factory when my dad got sick. I was 26 and married. My wife, Yotako, worked in the office to support me. However... I can't be with you anymore. Let's get divorced. Huh? I thought you'd have money when you became the company head, but I can't even travel abroad. I always have to do office work. I want to be a housewife. We haven't gone abroad, but we've been going on trips in the country. I haven't heard you mention the housewife thing. I didn't mean it when I said I'd help. You should know that. I don't want to be poor anymore. Kenki Kun's also a company president, and his company is bigger. He'll make me happy. She cried into the man next to her. It was my best friend Kenki Anatori. He had just come in. She said she wants to be with me. I'm also tired of caring and supporting you. Anadori, were you cheating on me? You didn't notice? I've always hated you. We've known each other since high school, but I guess I was the only one that saw him as a close friend. I feel bad about making Yotako unhappy, but that doesn't excuse cheating. I'll be asking for compensation. Thank you for everything. Thank you? Even though you're asking for money? We just have to pay compensation, right? Poor people are so pitiful. The two of them had suddenly asked to speak with me. I had wondered what it was about. Trust can be broken in an instant. Well, I guess there wasn't any to begin with. Huh, <sighs> I knew it. But it still sucks. I was notified that a major client of ours wanted to end their contract. It was Anadori's company. A few years ago, he had taken over the company from his parents. It seems too personal, but I figured this would happen. I was a subcontractor of his company. He cut me out of his life, and then cut off the contract too. I had made Yotako through another client's recommendation, so that was awkward as well. They paid me compensation in full, but does that mean they should be forgiven? Now that I think about it, Anadori and I were opposites. Anadori was introverted and cowardly. He stood out in class. I had noticed that and spoken to him. I became the only person he talked to. Before I realized it, we were always together. I talked to that hard-headed PE teacher. Just muscling through the pain is so old-fashioned. Thanks, I've got nothing on you. You're so reliable. If you want to thank me, show me your history homework. It's my worst subject. Fine, I guess you always take care of me. That's saying too much. You think that now, but we might switch places as adults. Your family's company's bigger than mine. You're an only child, right? If you take over, give me a lot of jobs. Yeah, sure. Promise. I felt something in his expression then. 
Now that I think about it, he must have felt some type of way. Our sales have gone down, but I can't upset the employees. I have to find new clients! My company deals mainly with aluminium. We're especially good at spatula squeezing. In spatula squeezing, you shape a metal with a spatula as it rotates. It doesn't require a mold, so you can produce smaller batches and make different shapes. What? Okay, thank you. No good again? Yeah, they said they found somewhere cheaper. Aladori's company. I heard recently that that company president has been spreading bad rumors about us. Jeez. Ugh, I can't. I'm gonna make a bunch of dolls with his name carved in and curse them all. Nice! Let's make a huge campfire and burn them all! Like that festival in India. Fire! Fire! Yes. Fire. Yes. Stop, stop! Don't do anything weird! I have to do something before my workers go crazy! I was struggling, but Anatoly was looking strained as well. Damn it! I thought I could work with this big company. They didn't even hear us out. Kenki kun, are you okay? Shut up! Don't talk if you're useless. They were officially married, but it wasn't looking good. I'm nervous. A month later, I learned that a branch of a large manufacturer had come in near us. I was here to meet with them. I heard that they were planning a product that would combine furniture with aluminium. Is it you, Ishin? Um, have we met before? A beautiful woman suddenly spoke to me. She knew my name, and I tilted my head. It's been 13 years, I guess. Does this help? She took out a stained glass charm from her breast pocket. Oh, Fran? <laughs> Correct. The sales rep, Mitsui-san, I had been in contact with, was none other than the Fran from my past. After she moved, her parents divorced, and her last name changed. Senpai, uh, I mean, Mitsui-san, I didn't think I'd see you again. How's your mom? Call me Fran. My mom passed away eight years ago, but she lived four years longer than her prognosis. Her father had divorced her as soon as he found out her prognosis. Later, he fell for a marriage fraud scam and lost all his money and faith. I've been wanting to work with your company. She worked for Loveteak Co. They dealt mainly in furniture. Recently, more simple and functional products have been popular. We're looking into lighting fixtures that are simple but beautiful. We decided to look for a company that processes aluminum without using molds. I see. We've made lampshades before. I think we can do what you're looking for. Right? I knew it. There aren't many places that can work with us. I heard that Anadori's factory got the newest squeezing machines. I wonder how that's going. I randomly thought of my ex-friend, but decided to not dwell. Got it. I mean, I understand. Please let us do it. Yay, thank you. After a contract with Fran's company started, things started moving in a positive direction. Other companies started coming to us. Our factory was busy. I had to let out shouts of joy. However, spatula squeezing was a specialized skill, so we couldn't just get more people. My next task is training others. My dad heard the news and suddenly got better. He came back to work. He's been on bed rest this whole time. <laughs> it's a good thing. My dad was sad when he learned about my divorce. Maybe it's a good thing that he can work again. Hey, you created this huge opportunity for us. How can we repay you? Ishin, I was just doing my job as an employee. Fran's finger stroked her lucky charm. I couldn't help staring. Also, I wanted to repay you for the past. Of course I put my faith in your company's skills. Repay me? I didn't do anything. It was important to me, so I'll say it again. Thank you for that. Oh, but if you're worried, I want you to take me out on a date. 
Oh, think about it. It's been 13 years since we met. We've been meeting up a lot more and getting closer. It wasn't long until we started going out. Meanwhile, the Anadotis. <laughs> They're cutting the contract? They said the quality's gone down. That the previous CEO was better. Shut up! Dad is old, and the other workers are old too, so we switched to the press. It costs a lot to get the new machines. Make yourself more useful. Don't get mad at me. I thought I could be a housewife, but I'm in the office again. This sucks. Anadori had relied a lot on my company, so he was the one suffering now. I'm sorry, I know you're busy. My friend's hosting, and he kept telling me to bring my girlfriend. He's been worried since he learned about your divorce, right? He cares about you. Feels weird hearing that from my girlfriend. It was my high school reunion. We were headed toward an izakaya. It was more of a gathering of friends than a reunion. I haven't been able to go since my dad was sick and our sales were a mess. It's been a while. Talking with my friends for the first time in a while was fun. Fran fit right in. Did you hear about Anadori? His company's a mess. Yeah, just some rumors. Depended on you for a long time. I thought he learned to talk to people towards the end of high school, but now he's kind of mean. <laughs> <sighs> I made it. Right as the reunion was coming to a close, Anadori came in as if to ruin the mood. It's been six months since Anadori backstabbed me, and he had gotten pretty gone since then. Huh? He said you weren't coming. Oh good, you're here. You started a company recently, and it's going well, right? Work with my company. I just lost another client, so this is all I have. Huh? What all of a sudden? You rejected me before. You, you work for a big company, right? And do you have any leads? Whoa, what all of a sudden? It's scary. Anadori came in and immediately started begging. We were in shock. Stop it, Anadori! Did you come just to make us feel bad? I didn't know if he noticed or not, but he glared at me resentfully. No one wants to work with your company. Sh shut up! What do you know? I've heard rumors about your company. My guess is that you brought in a bunch of new machines and haven't been able to use them properly, so your quality dropped. You have a lot of freedom with press machines. You can make complex shapes, but there's a lot of pressure on the metals, so it's easy to get wrinkles and deformations. Adjusting the settings is difficult. You wanted to resolve being short-staffed, but you panicked and didn't prepare properly, right? You relied on us for complex processes, so you wanted to make up for it, but it's not easy. What? You just want to brag that you're better? I sighed. I was exasperated by his childish words. Our company supported each other, by taking advantage of our strengths. Your company specialized in processes involving moles. You passed us to more specialized processes. There is no better. Actually, you were the one that looked down on us for being your subsidiary. Since you're here, I'll ask, why do you hate me? I asked him what had been on my mind. I really thought we were friends. Because you were in my business even though I never asked for it. What? Wait, wait, it's the opposite. Anadori hesitated, so my friend answered for him. Anadori, aren't you the same as a child that's rebelling even though he can't leave the nest? In high school, you would wander around suspiciously when Kagiyama wasn't there. Yeah? You got upset when I told you not to rely on Kageyama too much, but you showed no signs of changing. You probably hated yourself for not being able to do anything without Kageyama-kun. But it's just the truth that he helped you. You bit the hand that fed you. My friends nodded in agreement, so this is how they felt about Anadori. I see. So you felt high and mighty because you were the parent company? 
You took his wife, cut the contract, and was like, you need me? How lame. Anadori's face got redder and redder. She must have hit the nail on the head. It was embarrassing. It's true that I trusted you completely when it came to work, so I suffered when you cut me off. I learned my lesson. I think you're right about me getting up in your business in high school. I didn't know what you were thinking. I'm sorry I didn't realize. Kageyama. That's why, no matter what you thought about it, I thought of you as a close friend. You're gonna forgive him? No way. He took my wife and cut off our contract for personal reasons. I thought of him as a friend. Now, I truly hate him from the bottom of my heart. Ugh. Anadori's eyes had flashed with hope, but that went away. Did he think we'd make up or something? I never intended it. But you don't want to carry me anymore, right? We're strangers now. That won't happen, so be happy. Take care. Sorry, I'm going home. Oh, yeah. I left more than enough money on the table and left with Fran. Anadori stared after me, but I didn't look at him. K Kageyama! Anadori chased after me. Fran gave me a look to stop me and stepped forward. Kenki Anadori, was it? You gave Love Tech a call before. You talked to me, Mitsui. Oh, Mi Mitsui-san? Why are you here? I'm his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to ask you, why didn't you work with us? Ishin said it. Your quality is bad, also, you have no morals. One of our subsidiaries had worked with you before. I heard from them that your parts were not prepared well and you would complain when they requested changes. They told me that there was nothing they could trust. Anadori couldn't fight back. He frowned. On the other hand, his company not only has the skills, but they care about connections. The factory had a good vibe. The company remains humble, and they still have a good relationship. Anadori-san. That's the difference between you and Ishin. That's why you can never surpass him. Ugh. Anadori remembered something. Why do you hang out with me? It must be more fun with other people. Why? I like being with you too. You have all these ideas that I've never had. That's... Why? That's why. That's why I'm lucky you're my friend. Thank you. Damn. Damn it. Hi. Kageyama. Anadori sobbed. Fran and I left without a word. Meanwhile, Yotaku was walking alone at night. She had no idea. Kengi-kun said their high school reunion was today, so Ishii must be there. I can't with him. Ishin was nicer and honest. I can still... Yotako saw Fran and I from behind. Oh, Ishi! <sighs> Yikes! Fran looked at Yotako with dark eyes full of hatred. She must have realized that Yotako was my ex-wife. A sixth sense of sorts. What was that? Is Ishin in that woman? Yotako felt an instinctive sense of fear. All she could do was watch us walk away. Later, word spread that Anadori's company only made bad products. His company's reputation was at rock bottom. No one wanted to work with him, so everyone quit. They went bankrupt. Anadori lost everything he had gotten from his father. Why, damn it! The machines were supposed to be new, but they were junk. He was scammed. The sellers were nowhere to be found, and that was how Anadori realized he was tricked. Yotako divorced Anadori, but it came out that she had been cheating for a while. She had to pay compensation, and the person she cheated with ran away. Her family cut her off as well. I'm done for. I can't find a good man or a job. 
How she's doing now, whether she's okay or not, I'll never know. I cut them off completely. I have zero interest in their lives and no empathy left. The products you worked on have been selling. They like the designs. My company has been working with friends for a while now. Our products were getting out there, so more young people were coming to us for work. I'm truly so grateful for you. I told you, I want to repay you. My mom was weak. When she was hospitalized, my grandparents took care of me. After my mom passed away, their dementia worsened, and they were put in a home. I was so lonely. Every time I felt hopeless, I would remember. You, taking my hand when I was crying. Fran took out the charm from her pocket. The stained glass reflected the light. I wanted to see you again, so I started the branch and came here. I worked hard, huh? Yeah, thank you, Fran-san. I can smile now because I met you. I took her hand. She wore the ring I had given her on her ring finger. They say you shouldn't bite the hand that feeds you. I think that if you betray someone's trust, you'll be the one to suffer. On the other end, if you act with kindness, that will come back to you too. You can't survive all on your own. You're not alone in this world. That's why I always ask myself, am I taking care of the people around me? Hello, hello everyone, it's Brittany. Aw, I just thought that Fran was such an adorable cutie and I love how she just kept searching, you know, and kept trying really hard. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!